Hello, welcome all of you. My name is Mr. Ganesh, and I am a TCT at Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalay, Yavatmal. Today we are going to learn direct and indirect speech, also known as reported speech. And that I am not going to teach, but there are various activities that my dear students are going to conduct. I hope you will definitely watch it and enjoy. Direct speech, indirect speech. The two ways of reporting what somebody says is through direct speech and indirect speech. In direct speech, we use the speaker's own words and put speech marks around the words spoken. For example, Nikki said, "I am learning a new topic." In indirect speech, we do not use the exact words of the speaker and do not use speech marks. Instead, report what was said using the word that and the past form of the verb used by the speaker. For example, Nikki said that she was learning a new topic. Don't stand up. 
she said don't stand up and in the entire speech it will be she ordered not to stand up sit down she said sit down and in the entire speech it will be she ordered to sit down open your book she said open your book and in the entire speech it will be she ordered to open her book read a sentence of your choice she said read a sentence of your choice and in the entire speech it will be she ordered to read a sentence of her choice change it into entire speech she said change it into entire speech and in the entire speech it will be she ordered to change it into the entire speech Samruddhi exclaimed to Lavanya that it was a very cool step. Thanks. Do you want to learn? Lavanya thanked her and asked her if she wanted to learn. Yes, of course. Samruddhi replied positively to Lavanya. Let's start. Lavanya asked Samruddhi to start. Move her right foot outward and lift up. She instructed her to move her right foot outward and lift her toe. Okay. Samruddhi replied with okay. Then move your left foot heel inward. Lavanya instructed to move her left foot heel inward. Do it alternately and that's all. Lavanya asked her to do it alternately and said that it was all. Yes, I got it. Thanks. Samruddhi said yes and added that she got it. Then she thanked her. It is my pleasure. You are doing great. Lavanya said that it was her pleasure and complimented her that she was doing great.
This is my pen. He yeah. said that that was his pen. No, this is my pen. He said negatively and added that was his pen. Yes, it is your pen. He said positively that it was his pen. It is blue in color. He said that it was blue in color. Then it is not my pen. He said that then it was not his pen. Hello everyone, I am interrogating you. Oh yes, we are interrogating you. Yes, yes. I am verbal, I am verbal type and also called as yes or no type question. Because my answer is given in only yes or no. And I start with uh, auxiliary verb and English question. And auxiliary verb and any that was where do does the have had time. Shall we can? Me, should, could, would, might, must, ought to, dare to, used to, or and did not. While changing interrogative sentence to declarative sentence, take subject first and then observe the Then change the reporting verb said to or said or said to to ask. Use before whether to join the part of the sentence. Don't forget to put full stop. I am double step for Is there something missing? Direct speech. He said, is there something missing? In direct speech, he asked if there was something missing. Shall we start now? Direct speech. He said, shall we start now? In direct speech, he asked if there if they should start then. Who are you? Direct speech. He said, who are you? In direct speech, he asked who he was. What are you doing? Direct speech. He said, what are you doing? In direct speech, he asked what he was doing. When did you arrive? Direct speech. He said, when did you arrive? In direct speech, he asked when he had arrived. Direct speech. If I am talking about non-living thing, 
and it is a subject I will use it, object it, and the it is a it. It is in positive form. Now, if I am talking about mass of people, I will use they as a subject, them as an object, their as a possessive word, and in that exchange, I will use they as a subject, them as an object, and their as a possessive word. Indirect speech there. 
I am happy now. I was happy then. Direct speech yesterday. Indirect speech the previous day. I came here yesterday. He went there the previous day. Direct speech tomorrow. Indirect speech the next day. I will play tomorrow. He would play the next day. Direct speech today. Indirect speech that day. Today I had a great day. That day he had a great day. Direct speech this. Indirect speech that. This is a pen. That was a pen. Direct speech there. Indirect speech those. These are boys. Those are boys. Those were boys. Girls or boys? 
I think boys. Okay, let's then have a competition. Okay, let's start then. Start. I will ask some questions to boys and you will ask some questions to girls. Yes. Let's see who will win. So, first question to girls. Ready? Yes. Question number one. He said to me, do you speak English? Understand? I am repeating. He said to me, do you speak English? Anyone? You. He asked me whether I spoke English. Correct. Absolutely correct. So 
atau pas kosan tugas. Jadi, kosan nombor dua. He said to me, Do you speak English? Understand? I am repeating. He said to me, Do you speak English? Anyone? Thank you. 